So straight up, let's talk about uh, tetanus. So this is a neurological disorder characterized by muscle spasms due to the toxin produced by Clostridia tetanus. So tetanus occurs in several clinical forms, including generalized, neonatal, and localized disease. So clinical features include uh, trismus, that is locked jaw, optatomus, that is rigid aching of the back muscles, dysphagia, laryngeal spasms, and diagnosis is mainly by clinical presentation. So we manage this uh, basically by maintaining adequate airway, intubation if necessary, so insertion of an esophagus tube as early as possible for nutritional and drug administration. So we neutralize our toxins, that is 1,000 to 3,000 international units of human tetanized immunoglobin, IM. So host serum is an alternative. So we eliminate toxins uh, production by giving uh, crystalline penicillin, 1 mega unit IV, JD for 10 days. For children, we give 50,000 international units per kg per day, and units we give them BD. Older children, we give them, we give them QID. We also give metronidazole 2 grams per day uh, for 7 to 10 days. So other agents that can be used include uh, cephalosporins, imipenem, microlids, and tetracyclines in treatment of uh, tetanus. Uh, surgical toileting is very, very key of the wound and sites that the patient has uh, gotten an injury. So we control spasms uh, generally. Diazepam is a drug of choice. You can add phenobarbitone and clopromazine if additional sedation is required. So all the three drugs may be needed in severe cases. So for diazepam, we give 10 to 60 milligrams IV or rectally QD. Uh, phenobarbitone, we give 30 to 90 milligrams IV or IM every 12 hourly. Clopromazine, 100 milligrams IM QAD alternative for diazepam. And we make sure we maintain fluid balance. We also monitor and treat uh, interrupted infections and nurse the patient in a dark, quiet isolation room. For prevention, uh, people with open wounds should be given two doses of, of tetanus toxide at least four weeks apart. Only one dose if immunized uh, during the last three years and adequate surgical toileting has already been done.